What's up guys? My name is Jada and I'm back with a video from almost a year now. I haven't posted on my channel. Um, so much has been going on in the last like year or so, so it's just been a lot for me. But I'm finally back on my channel um, and I'm very excited because I very much missed having videos to edit and filming videos basically. So I'm finally back. Um, I am here to tell you guys basically how I found out that I was pregnant. Um, this happened two months ago. No, like almost almost four months ago. Um, but I was just going to be starting from the beginning just to let you guys know how I found out. So basically, um, I found out I was pregnant when I was already a month along. Um, I was at work one day and I just had a feeling that you know maybe I might be you know pregnant um, a couple days before that I think my boyfriend would like joke around about it a little bit and I would just always like yeah no that can never happen to me so I was just in complete denial from the very beginning that this cannot happen to me <laughs> just because I don't know it just in my head I never thought you know that would happen my, I'm so young and I just I wasn't expecting it um, so either way it goes I was denying it the whole entire time um, up until I was about to take a test because I was like debating I'm like maybe I am no no way so I didn't take it because I was just like I'm not even gonna scare myself what do I need to take it for I'm not pregnant so I was just in complete denial um, finally one day I was at work my boobs were tender my boobs are never tender like I've never felt my boobs be tender before so I was like this is a new you know symptom that I have maybe I should probably check you know something out um I was very scared to take it by the way I was paranoid because I was like what if it comes back positive I don't know what I'm gonna do so I was very scared <laughs> to take the test but after work you know, I went ahead and I went to Myers and I got a pregnancy test. Let me just say before I took that pregnancy test, I already took a pregnancy test, I think a day before that. And it was the faintest line I have ever seen. Like the line was so faint, I was like, no, I'm not. that's that's negative. So just a heads up, if you take a pregnancy test and the line is super duper faint, that does not matter. <laughs> that means you're pregnant. Like if you can see a line either it's faint or not you are pregnant because obviously I thought it was negative because it was so faint no it was positive the whole time so that test I just kind of you know put it to the side um, I was worried for a second but I kind of convinced myself that it was negative because it was so faint of course I looked up videos and looked up um, you know is a faint line positive yes <laughs> It kept telling me yes it is possible it could be positive and i seen videos of girls showing their um, pregnancy tests that were positive with that faint line and they were like oh yeah i'm pregnant and they were telling me you know um if it's faint you're still pregnant but i ignored all of it because i was in such denial so i think a couple days after that me and my boyfriend were actually at tj maxx i don't know what how the conversation came about but i think we were just talking about it casually but i just remember looking at him and saying that i already took a pregnancy test like i think we were like talking about it joke joking around about it and he was like you did and he was just like what did it say and that's when i started walking away all fast and then he started panicking and he was like what did it say like i, I just started walking away because i was like i don't want to tell him that it was faint because he could probably he probably thinks it's it would be positive and I didn't want him to change my mindset on it being negative because I was like this is too faint for it to be positive but anyways I told him that it was a super faint line um that's when he started to get quiet and nervous and he started looking up on his phone like is you know a very faint line a positive so ba basically he had the kind of the same mindset as me it could be positive it couldn't be it was just like we didn't know if that meant positive so he was just quiet for a little bit and was like yeah it's probably just a positive pregnancy test and I'm like mm, I don't think so I think we're good so <laughs> I had that mindset the whole time like I was convincing myself that it was negative because it was so faint so that kind of brings me to the next you know preg pregnancy test I took when I was at work and I started to feel my boobs being tender 
uh, I think that was oh yeah I had cramps I had cramps in my stomach I thought I was about to start my period so I then went to the store I bought pads I bought a pregnancy test just in case but I was like yeah I'm about to start my period yeah because I, I was having cramps so yeah that's the time um, I took the pregnancy test and this one was, um, yeah, this one was a digital pregnancy test. This is what the pregnancy test that I took at first looked like. So hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see that. I can barely see, but it's this most fainted line ever. If you can't see it, that's just proving my point even more that you can barely see the line. That's how faint it was. That's why I thought it was negative. It was a digital clear blue um, pregnancy test that I took. Um... That's what I bought. <laughs> I got home and you know I read the directions or whatever. First of all, I peed on the wrong side of the stick. Um, I actually put it in like like a mini cup um, and I put the pee or I put this side of the stick in the pee and this is the wrong side. This is the side that you hold it under you, which I didn't know. Um, even though I read the directions, it was just pictures on the side of the box that I was trying to follow. But I just put the wrong side in there. Anyways, I put this side on there, the side that you're supposed to put on there, pink. <laughs> so that's that's what it looks like when you put it in the pee. It turned pink instantly. I was, usually when I take pregnancy tests like these, it takes a little bit longer. Um, you would put your the stick in the pee for a couple seconds and it will take about three minutes to let you know. This one lets you know immediately. I was gonna, you know, put the stick in there. I was telling myself I was gonna go straighten up my room a little bit, put my clothes in a dryer, and come back and see what the results was. As soon as I put this in the pee, it instantly turned pink. So, I froze. I couldn't believe it. I, I froze up and I was like, and then I started to cry. <laughs> I started crying. I started screaming like, no, this isn't mine. This isn't true. This can't be real. I was just in complete shock because I'm, I'm only 20 years old. Um, and it was just a very scary experience, of course, because I had this whole entire dream life planned out for myself since I was like 18 years old. Um, I wanted to move to Florida, um, relaunch my business, which I'm still doing. Um, I just, at that time, when I first found out that I was pregnant, I'm like, yeah, my life's ruined. Um, because I just had imagined my life without, you know, a kid this early. Because, you know, I always planned on having kids when I was, like, 25 years old. I'm 20, so that I'm five years early. Um, so yeah, I just had a whole life, different life planned out. Obviously, God has different plans for me, and I'm okay with that because, obviously, I want to go the route that God wants to take me anytime. So I guess I'm supposed to just, you know, bring a child along with me with my dream life. And I'm still going to go towards my dreams with, you know, YouTube and my clothing business, which is actually motivating me a little bit more than it was before. Um, stay tuned for that relaunch, though. <laughs> Either way it goes, this is a pregnancy test I took and it confirmed that I, it was positive. Um... Or that I was pregnant. I was scared. It took me a couple of days to kind of get used to it. I, it took forever to get used to it. I, honestly, it just took a couple of days to like actually realize what was going on. Um, I didn't tell my mom until like two days after that. Of course, I was crying again because I was just in disbelief. I didn't think that this was a route, but it is a route. Um, so I told my mom. Uh, I told my boyfriend like a day later because <laughs> I just wanted to process it by myself and you know we were both in shock at first now that I'm four months pregnant in three weeks next next Saturday next Saturday I'll be five five months but now that we we've came this long um of course the feeling and the love has grown since then because at first like I said I was in shock and it was just something so new i think anybody would you know be in complete shock i wish i took a video of it but i didn't but yeah it's it's definitely a blessing and i'm excited i'm scared but i'm excited it's gonna be new for me i'm a new mom i'm really just scared of birth it's really the number one thing that i'm scared of but i'm trying not to think about it <laughs> but it's a girl i'm having a daughter 
the light is just not letting me win today i don't know why it's it, it's so bright but yes i'm having a daughter these are the first ultrasound pictures that we got super super tiny the head this is actually upside down so she was laying upside down in the ultrasound pictures um obviously they have like the booty <laughs> um where it's up here so she was laying upside down but i do have more ultrasound pictures that i'm going to go ahead and show you so i just went to my ultrasound um i believe it was wednesday so like two days ago this is what she looks like now this is an actual side profile and she actually looks like a baby at this point so cute i feel like she's gonna look like me like the head shape she has my same exact head shape so we'll see but yes i'm very excited and i can't wait to you know meet her and everything um i do want to just say that if you are just finding out that you're pregnant I, it's scary at first it's definitely scary at first but you're not the first and last person to you know have this unexpected blessing to happen in your life and everything is going to be all right i feel like um you know you have children when you need them and not when you want them they come for a reason honestly so <sighs> Hopefully that, you know, calms people down a lot. I really don't know the best advice to give because honestly, I'm still in shock myself. But that was just something that, you know, that kind of made me feel better that I heard. So if you're going through that, everything will be fine. It's a blessing. So I did end up downloading an app called Flow. This is an app um, that I kind of track my pregnancy on. So this app basically shows me what size of the baby is what it looks like and it will also yeah it's showing me what they you know it'll just give me information on basically what the baby can do at this stage what size it is it'll just give me like a whole bunch of like information it'll basically just give me a whole bunch of information of what they're doing at this at this time and it gives you advice other people can comment and you know like under a question, people, different people will comment their experience, what they think. There's just a whole bunch of different things you can click on to learn about, you know, your pregnancy. It will just give you a whole bunch of information. And the information is supposed to be accurate. It's from, you know, doctors and OBGYN. So I think this app is like super helpful. That's the first thing I downloaded when I got pregnant. So I feel like anybody who's pregnant should download the app. It will tell you a lot of information throughout your pregnancy. That is basically it for this video. I basically just wanted to, you know, start off my channel with, you know, me telling, I guess, a story of how I found out I was pregnant before I started just posting a whole bunch of different baby videos. I just wanted to start from somewhere and I felt like this was the perfect, you know, video to start off with before I start posting more and more videos about, you know, the baby. Um, this channel is not going to only be about the baby. Mind you, um, I still own my clothing business, Pure JM, and I'm actually planning on launching it early March for a spring launch. Um, I'm super excited. I end up closing the store for quite some time um, when I first got my corporate job. Basically so I can focus on saving up and stuff, which wasn't a good idea, but I mean it all worked out fine, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, relaunch my business and I've been learning so much, so um, I'm finally gonna be back on that and I'm still gonna be recording my journey. Um, I just kind of got cut off and shut it down for a little bit. So I'm super excited for that. Um, if you guys do like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so I can know to make more videos like this or if you do want to see more content from me. Um, I hope to see you guys in my next video and I thank you so much for watching. Bye!